there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to make glass beads. I got a bead making kit for Christmas, and um, it contained everything I needed to make beads. And here's the box it came in. It's the um, Fireworks Beginner Bead Making Kit, and you get everything in here except for the gas. You'll have to pick the gas up at like Lowe's. They have it for 10 bucks at Lowe's. It's in a yellow can, so you don't use propane or butane. This is MAP gas, M-A-P-P -P or M-A-P. It'll be right on the container, right on the yellow container. And it costs about $10. Um, so in the kit, you get the torch head, which screws on to the, um, the canister, and a clamp, so and an L bracket. And basically, you've got like a little clamp that goes around your can of gas, and you, then you slide the L clamp in and you clamp it to your table. You get this um, heat um, protective work surface here. Um, you get a tube full of glass rods. And you get um, these metal sticks, they're called mandrels, and this is what you make the beads on. And before you make the beads, you need to wash these and then dip them in this uh, kiln wash that comes with it. Um, it's basically like a kind of a clay coating that uh, it makes it so the beads don't stick to the metal. You also get a couple marbers, which are for shaping your beads. So there's a smooth side to smooth out your beads. You roll it on that when they're hot. Or a textured side so that you can make, you know, grooves or stripes. And also there's this round um, shaper. So these come in the kit. Uh, you also get this... Uh, the torch isn't on so I can reach across it. Uh, you also get this... Um, Fire blanket, so I've got a couple beads, oops, in there cooling right now. I probably just disrupted them. And in addition, I have a thing of water, so if I burn my fingertips, I can stick my hands in there. I've got my fire extinguisher handy in case I set something on fire. And um, I think that's about it. You will need a screwdriver to um, tighten your clamp to make sure you have this nice and secure. You don't just want to set it on the table because if you knock it over you're going to have an open flame and you could, you're, you're not going to have a hand free to hold this. So it's very important you clamp it to the table. So to first to start your torch to light it on fire, um, you know what, I think I'm going to change the camera and I'm going to put a close up on this so that you can really, um, so you can really see everything. I think it's a little too far away. You don't want to be looking at me, you want to be looking at that, I'm sure. So let's move the camera so you can look at the torch better. Okay, so on the back of this torch, there is a knot, there is a dial, and it's set to close. So before you put this torch on the gas tank, you want to make sure that it's set to close. Um, then you want to turn it to the left, and you're going to hear a hissing sound. And when you hear that hissing sound, you can gently squeeze the trigger to light. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Listen. Okay, now we're going to gently squeeze the trigger. And there, our torch is lit. I hope you can hear me over this. So the first thing you want to do is grab a mandrel that's got the coating on it. And also, you're going to grab some glass. Start the glass in and out of the flame until it starts to, uh, just to warm it up. You don't want to go heat up cold glass too fast or it will crack. So I'm just darting it in and out of the flame. I want three to four inches of flame, which is about what I have here, and it's already starting to round off. So now I'm just going to let it um, let it get hot and melty, and it's going to form a ball on the end. I hope you can see that all right with the flame. I gotta have, uh, I have to put my mandrel in there to get it hot too, or the glass won't stick. So we're heating everything up, you gotta be a little ambidextrous for this. And then you spin your mandrel to make your bead. Woo! Gotta keep it in the flame too. All right, now I have a simple, small bead, see? A simple, small bead. I'm setting my glass rod onto my work surface, my metal work surface. I want to add some other colors to this. So I think I'll do some yellow and some um, orange. So I'm just starting the yellow into the, the uh, flame here to warm it up. It's starting to get red really quick, so it's really warming up fast. Once 
once you see it start to glow and get a little soft, you can um, you can heat it up a little more continually. It's hard to talk when I do this. It's very zen-like. I hope you can hear me over this uh, porch. <laughs> side of the of the clear of the uh, white rather and now I want to use a little orange Now 
I am going to kind of let the uh, let the glow come down from that. Be, can you see it there? And then I'm going to set it in the fire blanket so it can cool down slowly. And that will have to cool for about an hour. I'm going to do one more bee really quick for you. Uh, I think I'll start with this peach color first. Again, I'm going to dart it in and out to uh, get it to warm up. Uh, but I've just used this earlier, so it's probably a little warm anyway. And it's time to get that gather going. I'm working uh, about three inches away from the flame. That's kind of where you want to be. That's where you get a nice hot spot there. Alright, that's nice and healthy, so I'm just going to go around. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to make a bigger, a uh, bigger bee here. Alright, it's a little better. I keep getting out of the flame. Maybe just I think I'll do some yellow now. Remember to keep your bead hot. Alright, you can see how it's glowing and starting to turn black. That'll go back to its normal color once uh, the bead cools. Once I get that gather, I'm going to add it right to that bead.
from the flame, from the torch. Um, it's easy to want to keep coming closer and closer thinking you're going to get it hotter, but that's just not the case. It's hard to remember though, I keep wanting to do it myself. Making a nice cylinder marble bee here. blanket to let it cool down slowly. To turn your, your torch off, just turn the gas all the way off. Ooh, that was loud, wasn't it? And then stick it in the kiln black, uh, blanket. And I will come back after an hour and a half or so and show you how the beads came out. Okay, it's about an hour later. My beads have cooled. I've taken them, I've taken the uh, mandrels um, off of the, out of the fire blanket and I soaked them in some water. And then to remove the beads, Simply just want to kind of grab them and twist. And I guess it's like you could soak them for like 15 minutes or even soak them longer. Uh, I'm impatient. I can't wait to see these beads. So I'm probably going to need to soak a little longer. That one, this one was, uh, I experimented with some stained glass and I just kind of slumped that over the mandrel. Um, so I was really just, I, I was just curious to see if I could use that with the, um, with the glass, I already had the stained glass. This is the bead we made in the video. It's kind of pretty. Um, it's gonna need to soak a little bit longer to come off there. Um, I think we also did this one in the video, didn't we? The ones with the the bumpy, bumpy edged bead. I just took it off. It's oh, there we go. That one came off. Then I'd rinse it to get that clay out of the center. Like I've I've only had this in the water for about five minutes. It said to soak at fifteen. I'm just so impatient. I can't wait to get to these beads. Um, but anyway, there you have it. You soak them to get them off. There's a bunch of different beads that I made. I think I will take a photograph of all these and put it up on the screen so it'll be easier for you to see. So there you have it. It's making beads with a bead torch. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.